Hello viewers, welcome to Care Diagnostics. Dio here. Today we have a 2008 VW Passat with a V6. This car is here for brake service. We're gonna service the front brakes and the rear brakes. We're gonna start with the rear, so I'll take you guys along with me. This one has got electronic park brakes, so we're gonna have to put the rear brakes in service mode before we start removing the calipers and the pads. So let's go inside the car, put the rear brakes in service mode, and then we're gonna go at the tire, remove the tire, and so we can get the rotors and the pads replaced. So let's go inside the car. So we're inside the car, so now let's scan the vehicle. We're just gonna go to vehicle selection. And right there, the scanner has identified the car. 2008 VW Passat with a 3.6. Hit OK. Let's continue. All right, so right here, we're gonna click on the uh, parking brake tab. Let's just click right there. And we're gonna go to functional test, special test. And right here, we're gonna click this tab here that says rear brake pads replacement procedure so we're gonna click on that and then we're gonna follow the instructions from this point on so it says please ensure key is on engine off for full procedure so the key has to be on while we're doing this please connect charging source to vehicle battery I have a charger right now on the battery so we have to have the key on with the scanner in this service mode while we are replacing the brake pads. So press brake pedal. So I'm pressing the brake pedal now. Okay, so I just pressed the brake pedal. Cycle park brake on. So I just cycle the park brake on. So park brake is on, then cycle park brake off. So I just cycle the park brake off and leave in off position. Now release brake pedal. So I just release the brake pedal. Let's go to continue. So basically you turn the key on, you step on the brake pedal, you apply the parking brake and then release them. You release the brake pedal, then you continue. So we're gonna click on open calipers this mode here once we click on this it's going to put the uh, brake calipers into the service mode and then I'll show you why because this so this parking brake is electronic you have to press this parking brake button here to activate the parking brakes so this is not the conventional uh, lever or button you have to pull that has a motor and uh, cables so don't know cables here this is a drive-by wire parking brake system okay so let's go to open calipers I don't know if you guys can hear that so there's a noise coming from the uh, motors on the uh, calipers right now so as you guys can see it's releasing the parking brakes so releasing caliper this procedure will take approximately 30 seconds so we're just gonna wait and so the caliper pistons are getting released right now and guys this procedure is really crucial because if you don't do this procedure if you don't have a scanner to do this procedure you can damage the calipers you can damage the parking brake system or you can even get hurt because these pistons can shoot out while you're servicing the parking brakes so you have to be careful so let's see what we have here so calipers are now released, continue with pad replacement. Note calipers can now be retracted manually as normal warning. Please ensure key on, engine off throughout procedure. So we have to make sure that the key remains on while we're doing this. And we're not gonna exit out of this screen, we're just gonna leave it here. And once we remove the calipers and, and, and the pads, then we're gonna come back and hit continue and then close the calipers. All right, so right now we just put it in the service mode uh, we now the calipers the caliper piston can be retracted just like regular manual uh, calipers 
but this one are electronic so we have to go under the car and do our job but we have to leave this screen here so now let's go to the wheel and get the job done I'm gonna start by removing the right rear tire So I'm going to show you why we had to put the rear calipers in service mode. Alright, so here is why we had to put it in a service mode because the parking brakes are completely driven by wire. As you can see right there, this wire is what drives the little motor right there behind the caliper. So this is why we had to put it in, in service mode. So now let's go up on the other side so we can remove this caliper. So right here. So the removal procedure is pretty much the same as any conventional caliper. Uh, we're gonna have to remove this caliper bolt right here. There's one bolt here and then another one down here. So once I remove these two bolts, the caliper is gonna come out. All right, so I'm gonna start removing this caliper bolt. There's one down here. These caliper bolts are 13 millimeter bolts. The bottom one is coming out pretty easily. So here it is. Now we're gonna remove the upper one. This one also just came out pretty easily. Right there. So now let's see if I can remove this caliper with one hand. Right here. Here's the caliper and see how it looks. Do you see that? This is this is the electric motor for the parking brakes. And this motor right here has to be put in service mode before you retract this piston. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit this caliper. So I'm gonna sit this caliper right here for now and then I'll go get a tool to retract the piston. All right, so I'm gonna use this tool to retract the caliper piston. So this is gonna go this way. Let's see how this is gonna go. I'm gonna spray some uh, WD-40 right here on the boot so that I don't damage this boot here because the, the piston has to spin freely independent from this rubber boot so I'll grab some WD-40 and spray there Because what you don't want to do is putting too much stress on this boot and breaking it. So we don't want to break it. And you need to go kind of slowly. This motor actually makes it have a little bit of resistance. I mean, I can feel the motor spinning as I'm retracting this. All right, so we're gonna leave it like that for now. If we have to retract it a little bit more, we can, but at this point, I'm just gonna sit the caliper right here. I'm just gonna sit it there.
and now we're gonna remove the caliper bracket and then the rotor but this end here this black box you see this motor is just for the parking brakes when you press the button it pushes the piston to squeeze the pads so that your vehicle doesn't roll okay alright so now I'm gonna remove the caliper bracket the caliper bracket has got two bolts behind here so one up and one at the bottom pretty much just like the caliper I'm gonna remove both caliper bracket bolts so I can remove the uh, caliper bracket itself alright so I'm gonna give you a better view of the caliper bracket bolt so this one up here and this one down here uh, these two are the caliper bracket bolts so this one and that one over there and once I remove those two bolts this bracket here will come out so I'm gonna do that next and I don't know if I mentioned that already those are star bolts alright so now I'm gonna remove the top bolt so we can remove the caliper bracket alright so now here comes the caliper bracket here it is so now I'm gonna sit it right here on the cart so I already removed this little screw here that holds the brake rotor down it was really hard to come out so I had to use a torch to heat it up and I didn't film while I was doing it so it's not gonna be included in the video but you know if it's tough just if you have a torch just heat it up a little bit and just bang it with a hammer and then it's gonna come out so that's what I did so now let's remove this brake rotor so right there had to tap it a little bit you have to be careful not to drop it because the brake rotor can drop on your feet and if you're not wearing steel tours that can hurt so here is our brake rotor it's a, all right so the brake rotor is out of the way so now we're gonna clean this flange you see how rusty this is so we're gonna clean it up before we install the new rotor this is really tough to do one-handed so I'm gonna clean this really nice and then I'll bring you guys back up all right so I cleaned up this flange so now I'm ready to install the brake rotor but before I do that I'm gonna apply a little bit of anti-seize compound here not too much just a little bit all right so now I'm ready to install the brake rotor So now I'm going to install this little tiny screw here that holds the rotor down. Alright, there we go. So you're just going to hand tight that. Alright, so I got the uh, caliper bracket ready. I installed the new brake pads on it. Uh, I put a little bit of anti seize compound on the back side of both pads so the caliper bracket is ready to be installed and here are the old pads they're completely worn out as you can see the new ones look better than the old one all right so now let's install the caliper bracket and the pads and also as you're doing this you have to make sure your caliper bracket pins slide in easily without any effort and as you can see these ones slide in smoothly so now let's install the uh, bracket all right so I've installed the caliper bracket bolt so now let's tighten them all right so there's one up here okay I'm going to have to go under the car to tighten them down. So I'm tightening those two bolts. So I already tightened this one here. Now I'm tightening the bottom one, which is, you guys won't see it, but it's down there. 
All right, so I've tightened the caliper bracket bolts. So now let's go back outside and install the caliper. All right, so you gotta make sure these caliper bracket pins slide in smoothly because you don't want these pins to be binding. If they bind, take them out, clean them. These ones are not binding, so our caliper is ready to be installed. Remember, we had to put this in service mode because of the electronic parking brake, because of this electric motor here. So now, let's take this out and see if our caliper is gonna fit here. So it looks like we have to retract the piston just slightly. So we have to push the piston in a little bit more. All right, so this should be enough. All right, so I think we have retracted this caliper piston far enough. So the caliper should be able to come in now. And as you can see, our caliper just slid in. All right, so now I'm gonna install the caliper bolt. I'm gonna install the upper one first. You guys probably won't be able to see it. So that one. And then this one up here all right so I did install all right so I did install this bolt here and then that one so now I'm gonna tighten the bottom bolt and the upper bolt after both of them are tightened and then we're gonna put the tire back on Okay. All right, so I did tighten the caliper bolt. So now let's install the tire. All right, so we replaced the uh, brake rotor, the brake pads, and the caliper has been put back on. So now the next step is gonna be installing the tire. Alright, so I just tightened the lug nuts and I used a 90 foot pound torque stick. Now I'm gonna go on the passenger side and do the same thing. So once I'm done with the passenger side, I will go back inside the car. I will take you guys with me so we can close the calipers and test our park brake. And that should be how you service this uh, rear brakes with electronic park brakes. I'm gonna do the driver side, but I'm not gonna film it so it's the same procedure the same thing we did here i'm going to do the same thing on the uh, driver's side so i will do that and then i'll bring you guys back up so, so i'm back here on the uh, right side as you can see we have replaced the brake pads and the rotor so now let's go to the uh, driver's side i'll show you what i did all right so as you can see right here uh, i have replaced the rotor and the pads so now let's lower the car so we can get it out of the service mode all right, so I had a charger on the vehicle as I was working on it. So now let's go in the car and get this out of service mode. All right, so I'm back here at the scan tool and we still have this message displayed on the scan tool screen. 
So let's hit continue. And now we're going to go to close calipers. So I'm going to hit close calipers. And I hope you guys can hear the noise and the light there just turned on. I wasn't fast enough to show it to you guys. So now the caliper pistons are going out to contact the brake pads slightly. Let's see what the dash is doing. Alright, so right there it says calipers have been closed. So now let's hit continue. Right, so right there, warning. To complete this procedure, please cycle the pack brake button after you leave this screen. Remember to press the brake pedal. So we have to cycle the pack brake button while we step on the brake pedal. Right, so I'm gonna do that. As you can see, there's no brake light on the dash. So I have my foot on the brake pedal now, so I'm gonna cycle. So right there. The brake light on the dash just came on. So now I'm gonna release the park brake. And right there, park brake light just went off. All right, right there, the park brake is on. The parking brake light just came on. Now I'm gonna release the parking brakes. And as you saw, the parking brake light just went off. So let's start the car. And as you can see, no lights on the dash. All right, so I'm gonna end it here. This is how you remove and replace rear brake pads and rotors on this 2008 VW Passat. This is the procedure you have to do if you have electronic park brake. So if you have this button, that's how you have to do it. I don't know if there's a way you can uh, release those calipers manually. I don't know if you can deactivate the uh, electronic park brake manually, but you have to have a scanner to open those uh, calipers so you can retract the pistons. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why. So if this is your first time here, subscribe to my YouTube channel, K Diagnostics. While you are down there, ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.